What are you making today, Miss Martha? I'm making chicken cacciatore, which is one of my husband's favorite dishes. I love it as well. I just don't care for the artichoke hearts or the black olives that go in the dish. When I when I make my chicken cacciatore, I tried in the past to use skinless, boneless chicken breast. It's just not the same. It's best when you make it with the dark meat of the chicken. I made it before with rabbit, which is how it was originally made. It's a poor man's dish. Cacciatore means hunting. So, you know, you use what you could catch out on your farm. Now, but we're going to use the chicken thighs and the drumsticks. The, the vegetable going or will be peppers, onions, leeks, minced garlic. There are crushed tomatoes and there are whole tomatoes. The whole tomatoes I'm going to hand crush, which I don't want to, I want to still have some texture in the dish. So you're just going to squish them in your hands a little bit. And I've got tomato paste. And when Miss Martha uses tomatoes, I use a little sugar. We don't drink in my house, but if you do, you could use you could use real red wine if you have that. But we're going to use red wine vinegar, and olive oil, black pepper, salt, bay leaves, chili powder, paprika, nutmeg, onion powder, garlic powder, ground thyme, ground oregano, and basil leaves. That's your seasoning profile. You start off with the dish. You're going to take a, a, a stock pot Dutch oven over there on the stove, a little olive oil in it. Put in your crushed, your chopped up veg in that until the onions go clear. Remove those from the pot. You have rinsed your chicken off and pat it dry. You're going to put your chicken in the seasoned oil and fry that a little bit on each side and take that out the pot. You're going to put your veg back in. Then you're going to add your tomatoes. And you're going to add all of your spice seasoning to that until it all incorporates. And then into a, a casserole baking dish. You'll put your chicken at the bottom of it. You'll pour your sauce over top of it. You'll cover it with foil. And in a 375 degree oven, you'll bake it for one hour. You'll take it out of the oven, take the foil off of it, and then you will add the sliced carrots, the artichoke hearts, the black olives, and your mushrooms. So I've got three different kinds of mushrooms here. I have the oyster mushrooms. I have just the regular white mushrooms. And I have shiitake mushrooms. The reason you don't put this stuff in earlier, you can put it in the last 20 minutes of cooking, is because you want to have the texture in the dish. It's a heartier dish and you feel like you're getting more full when you got to do all that chewing in a dish. Now, uh, for our sides, we're going to have just broccolini. We're going to saute with a little olive oil and a little bit of minced garlic. And that's our side dish. Lots of times when I was younger and we had a higher metabolism, we were a lot more active, I used to make homemade dinner rolls. I'll include that recipe. I don't make, we don't really eat bread that much now because you know, we're, 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 Everything you eat just goes right to your, to your hips at this point in time when you're over 60 years of age. But I'm going to show you a classic, easy recipe to make the rolls because you may want that as your side dish. If you're one of my vegan followers, you know this whole dish could be vegan by just omitting the chicken and doubling up on your mushrooms or adding cauliflower florets in place of the chicken. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to, you're going to get yourself a cup of coffee and I hope you stay with me. I'm going to rinse off my chicken. I'm going to chop off my veg and get that started in the pot over there and preheat my oven and we'll pick back up. This moth is making chicken cacciatore. I'll see you in a minute. I told you it's an easy dish. Let's move over to the oven. Everything's cleaned up over here. It was just a little matter of measuring out my ingredients, opening up the cans, draining the cans, chopping up the vegetables, rinsing the chicken. Let's go over and start frying the chicken and the vegetables off. Okay, we've got uh, about five to six tablespoons of olive oil in here, or garlic. We'll go ahead and add our veg. saute this is going to probably take about a good 10 minutes or so then we will we will remove the vegetables from the pan and we'll put our chicken in and fry that in the seasoned grease that's in the bottom of the pan then we'll take the chicken out put it in the bottom of our roaster pan and we'll make our sauce so moving along here okay the onions are starting to go clear so we're going to remove the veg from the pot and we're going to, it might take more than one fry, trying to fit all that chicken at one time into the uh, pot here. So we'll fry the chicken. Then we'll take the chicken out, put it in the bottom of the casserole dish, and we'll put the veggie back in and move on the recipe. So I'm just be messing. I gotta watch, make sure I'm not dripping it on the chihuahuas on my feet. So I'll be right back. Veggies out. 
chicken's going in. Okay, I'm going to fry it about six minutes on each side, flip it out, and move it out, put it in the pan. Repeat the process with the remaining chicken. Be right back. I'm going to go ahead and put the broccolini in the refrigerator. He'll only eat about one stalk of it. And I'm not going to have any broccoli. It's, it's his treat. Never learned to like broccoli. I'm not trying to cook the chicken fully. I'm just trying to get it brown a little bit. Get the skin crisping up a little bit. The chihuahua's going to tell you it smells great. Anyway, this last of the chicken is going to come out and we're going to put the veg back in and then we'll pick back up. All right, our tomatoes are going in. Whole tomatoes, I'm just going to cut those in half with my spoon on the side of the pot here. Move this out the way. I'm going to turn down to, to simmer. So these are the vegetables that we sauteed earlier and our tomatoes and tomato paste. We've got our red wine vinegar. Well, if you were using real red wine, you could use that right now. Stir that in. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, these are our seasonings. If you look at the description of uh, Miss Martha Loves to Cook YouTube, it will show you the proportions. everything in the pot for now and once this all gets incorporated I'm going to divide it among the two pans where the chicken is and then we're going to cover it with foil and put it in the oven to bake and we'll top it off after it's baked for one hour at 375 degrees we'll add in the mushrooms the carrots the artichoke hearts and the olives and it will bake another 20 minutes so we'll pick back up in a second Okay, we're just going to divide it among the two different pans here. Let's go to this pan. Let's go to that pan. And so on and so on. Okay, we're at the homeward stretch now. We're going to take the two uh, casserole dishes. We'll cover them with foil. They will go into the 375 degree oven and they will bake one hour. We will take them out. We'll remove the foil. We'll add in the mushrooms. artichoke hearts, sliced carrots, pitted black olives, they've all been drained. We'll scatter those on top. We'll take our back side of our large spoon and we'll press them down a little bit to make sure they got a little bit of sauce on them. We don't want them just laying on top so they'll burn on top of it. We'll put the foil back over it and they'll bake another 30 minutes until the uh, chicken falls off the bone. This is one of my husband's favorite dishes. We'll serve the side. We're gonna make broccolini with a little bit of garlic sauteed, and that will be his side dish. In the olden days, I said before, I used to make rolls. I'm gonna include the roll recipe, because you're gonna want a roll to sop up some of this goodness here. I know you are. I keep talking about, I could eat a whole pan of rolls right now, but yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Miss Martha loves to cook, and I sure do love to cook. Chicken Cacciatore!